everybody. Welcome to Sound On, episode 11. I'm Tyra Majors. And I'm Steve McCarron. We appreciate you joining us. First off, we want to tell you that you're probably going to start to see some changes with this show yes. over the next couple of weeks in terms of maybe how long it is, how short it is, the look of it. Our set might change. You know, when we started this whole thing, what, two months ago, two plus months ago, we knew that this was going to be something that was going to evolve, right? For sure. Trial and error. We're yeah. testing something new out. Yeah, exactly. And so we want to get your feedback on what you think we should do and where you think the show should go. So if you have some comments on what you'd like to see out of us going forward, be sure to leave a comment on one of our pages when you see this episode. And we sure did get a lot of comments about one of the topics that we had last week. Oh my goodness. And actually, this was our first video up on YouTube to reach over a thousand views. So thank you all for watching thank and weighing you. in. Yes. We got a lot of comments on the search for solution that follow up to that encampment yeah. fire that happened, the explosions that happened on the yeah. side of I-5 a couple weeks back. And then also the mass shooting that happened on Capitol Hill, the deadly mass shooting that happened on Capitol Hill. A lot of the comments came about that big explosion mm -hmm. that we saw right above Interstate 5, uh, right next to Harborview Medical Center. Um, and we got an, sort of an update from police on this, which shows that a payback might have been the motive for that uh, bombing at the homeless camp above I-5 as sort of rivals struggled to control this drug trade that was operating out of the camp. And then you saw WashDOT issuing this emergency order to sort of remove that encampment uh, because of some criminal activity and the risk to the hospital and then obviously the drivers on Interstate 5 mm -hmm. as well. So that's kind of the update. And a lot of you had a lot to say oh about that camp and what happened there. Just crazy. So many comments. This first one comes from ADCY7WX. Mm. We are moving east in October. I've given up. Sad face. So fed up. Yeah. And then Zatyak Cheese 3652, I think is how you pronounce the same, said votes have consequences. Reap what you sow. Mm. And obviously we just had the primary election this past Tuesday. So there's changes uh, that are coming. A lot of people want to see changes as well yep. with our city council. So we'll just have to see how that all shakes out. Someone yeah. commented on our website. Emma K. Let's talk about homeless drug addicts and criminals who come here from other states. Why should Washington be responsible for housing them? Can they be sent back to their state of origin? Yeah, and then Trina's reply to that was uh, obviously important too, saying exactly and stop giving them reasons to come here in the first place. Mm. Um, that's been an issue that we've seen not only in Washington state, but other states across the country where uh, folks who have fallen on tough times yeah. uh, have either like given been given a bus ticket or maybe yep. an airplane ticket to go to a different state mm -hmm. um, where they would most likely get some some resources and th we know that's happened here. I say the reasons uh, to come here in the first place mm -hmm. probably vary, right? Like you said, resources, maybe they know the laws are yeah. a little bit more relaxed than other cities. And maybe there's that mentality that, you know, if you come to a place like Washington State, you're more likely to get resources or help from some type of government agency as opposed exactly. to other states across the country. Exactly. The other thing that happened obviously was that mass shooting that happened on Capitol mm -hmm. Hill. Um, and we learned last week that a woman who died after the mass shooting near Broadway and Pine on Capitol Hill, um, she died hours after a street racing event or, or sideshow as they're called. And she was 20 years old. Her name was Essence Green and her family told us more needs to be done about gun violence in the city, which is another major issue that we see talked about a lot around She's here. She's exactly right. More needs to be done. And, you know, we're still calling out search for solutions. What are your solutions? What do you think needs to change? A lot of you have already been weighing in. So keep on leaving those comments. We'd like to hear from you. And we'll continue to share them mm -hmm. as we go forward in the next couple of weeks. I don't know if you've seen these two topics that have been trending on Reddit lately. They have to do with people who have moved from a different area into Seattle and they've kind of been surprised Ooh. at things that have happened here. It's actually interesting. I moved here almost three years ago and I'm excited we're switching gears now because this topic is a lot more fun. <laughs> Should we look at the comments and then maybe I'll like Let's quiz you about your comments. observations? Yes. Okay. So somebody said, um, what are the most un underrated Wait, the question is, what are the most underrated, unwritten rules of Seattle? Yes. The first person said, Dumbo Girl 1, it's still the Puyallup Fair, not Washington State Fair, despite all the rebranding work. Mm. I don't even know why they did rebranding work. I think because it was going to be more inclusive, right? Like it's not strictly, a, obviously it's in Puyallup, but it's I not see. strictly a Puyallup Fair. It is the State Fair. Makes sense. So why not call it the Washington State Fair? But every time the fair comes around in September, I'm always thinking back to that song that they used to play. And that's what one person said, too. People started leaving comments about the old Puyallup Fair song. How does it go, Steve? Never heard it. You can do it at a hop. You can do it at a gallop. You can do it heart won't palpitate. So don't be late. Okay. Do the Puyallup. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 
Witchy404 says, boots are year-round footwear, as are Birkenstocks and socks. Birkenstocks and socks? Maybe not when it's raining. You don't want your <laughs> socks to get wet. Right. Yeah, I like that one. Thank the bus driver. Ooh, I've taken public transportation in other U.S. cities and other countries, and I've noticed that we tend to thank the bus driver more than others. It's a nice way to fill a part of the Seattle area. You know what? I actually interviewed a bus driver for Bus Driver Appreciation Week mm. last year, and yeah. they said the same thing, that really? a thank you goes a long way, and a lot of people who ride the bus here say thank you. We have polite riders around here. Yes, we do. Thank you, Borealis Aurora, I believe is their name. Okay, and then the last one, so do you like cheese? Good name, by the way. <laughs> Good name. Also, got to yell back door for anyone trying to get off the back exit if it isn't opened. Yeah, so if you're like standing in the middle or the back, oh. you're like, back door, and then they open the door for you. I did that not sense. know that. Yeah, apparently that's the thing here. Unlimited Calculus says, mm. yes means maybe, maybe means no. Accurate. That's weird. I know it is, but it's the way we do it around here. Oh my gosh. What about you? Say what what do you, you mean? What are some of your observations? Did some of these ring true? Um, okay, underrated, unwritten mm. rules of Seattle. I don't know. What do, I don't know. Umbrella, common one. Yeah, I was really shocked at that one. Yeah, we don't use them. I was shocked at that one because yeah. we, you don't use umbrellas around here. Don't. Like, people don't care about getting their hair wet like I do. Just get a rain jacket um, and put on a hat. That's fine. And that's what I do now. Yeah. So you've what adapted. Else? Yes. I've adapted. I've adapted. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things. Crosswalk? Is that another one? Someone else said that downstairs, yes, yeah. that people actually use the crosswalk and they follow the signals here. They do not jaywalk as on, like, you know, East Coast cities, they're big jaywalkers. I jaywalk. You jaywalk, Steve? I do. Oh, I'm telling. Like, even like <laughs> mid-street, too. I'll just walk across the street. Sorry. Great topic, though. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, too. Yeah. What, do you, what, what are some of the things that are unwritten rules that you think are from Seattle? Like, yeah. just Seattle stuff. Let us know. Leave it in the comments. Yeah. Leave us in the comments. Oh my goodness, yep. such a fun weekend ahead. I know. We have Fleet Week that's already underway for Seafair. Mm -hmm. And then two big things are happening this weekend for Seafair Weekend. We have the air show. Ooh, Love the roar okay. of the Blue Angels. Fun. And then we have the hydroplane races. Oh, these are great. I can't believe hydroplane it's August races. already. I know, I can't believe we're in August. Mm -hmm. Those hydroplane races, I've heard so much about them. They've been around for more than 70 years. Long time. It's a staple here in the city. It is a staple here in the city. So obviously the big days for both of these are Sunday. So with the uh, air show, you have the, the Blue Angels, which are always fun to watch. You hear the roar mm -hmm. as they're sort of flying in the sky. And then we have the U.S. Army Golden Knights, which are fun to check out, too. So yeah. they have performances that are happening on late Sunday morning and then also into Sunday afternoon. All right. Yeah. One weekend on top. I've been out of town the past two years. I've lived here during Seafair weekend, so mm -hmm. I'm ready to get involved and watch the Blue Angels and watch maybe the hydro races. I would argue like Seafair really is Seattle summer. That's Seattle summer, yeah. that's how you know. It's hard to believe it's almost over, but Ugh. check out the air show or the hydroplane races mm -hmm. and tell us what you think about them too. So tell yeah. us what you think about the, the shows this weekend. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. So maybe Tyra, you should check out Seafair if you're not doing anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go Sunday for sure. All right. Yeah. And that wraps up episode 11 of Sounds On. Remember, this is a two-way street between us and you. We want to hear your feedback. We want to know what you want us to talk about. So let us know in the comment section because we'll talk about it. We will talk about it. And again, let us know what you think our show should look like and how it should evolve too. Yeah, we're taking open ideas for set design. Mm. Let us know. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll see you next, you next week. week. Good. Okay, oh. bye. We'll see you next time.